So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to animate basic 2D animation in Final Cut Express. So this, these animations can range from anywhere from 5 seconds to 10 minutes, really. It all just depends on what you want to do. So first off, you just want to think of an idea. So I'm just going to do something incredibly basic and just make a circle move around on a JPEG, whatever. That's nice and easy. So what you want to do is go to find Adobe Photoshop. I use CS3. really doesn't matter. If you have the newest stuff, that's good. So new, just use whatever, because you can shrink it all down in Final Cut. Now whenever it says background, don't do what you want on the background. Go down to that little piece of paper that looks like it's folding, and click on it. Now whenever you see how there's checkerboards on the layer 1, you want that. The background, you need to click the eye so it's gone. So now that checkerboard, that's good. So now whenever you make a circle, just make a circle. So hold on, let me find this. Make a circle. Then you go to the paint bucket fill it oh my there there's a circle kind of looks like a potato or a rock but it works so now you go to save as be sure the checkboard's there or else this won't work once you're save as name it um uh, circle rock see that looks nice go to png this is important without the png the image won't be clear in Final Cut. It'll be black, and you don't want a black. Uh, it'll be look. It'll look junky and cheesy. You don't want that to happen. So save this. You want to click none right there, then just press OK. Now that you've got that, we have what we need now. If you want a background, go to File, New. Just make a new one. Go here. Click the background again. Now be sure. Be absolutely sure it's not in grayscale. It's grayscale. You want it to be in RGB color there it's nice and easy so you just click here and um, um I'll just choose cyan I guess cuz it's already been still now I use that a lot uh there that'll be a good little color looks like puke looks actually pretty nice looks kind of two-tone so now that's done you go to save as you can make this a JPEG you want it to be a JPEG now and put on uh, puke green easy Nice and easy. Now, see how it's on your desktop? You want that? Now for the semi hard part. New project. Just make sure you don't click new. You can. It'll go to sweet. No, it won't actually. Now you go to file. You want to import stuff, not export stuff. Now there's my pute green. There's my circle rock. And you can choose that. It's simple. Now you want the puke green to be in the layer first. You want you don't want it to be in front of the circle or else it won't show up. Let's just make a basic little 12 second animation. That'll be absolutely fine now. You want the circle to put it here. And whenever I just started doing this, my animations were a lot like this. I thought they were pretty cool, so that'll be pretty good. Now, notice how it's not filtering up the entire sides. Click on it. Motion. Scale. Just pop it like that. Bam. Nice and easy. I try to play it, it'll say, no, never mind. Well, if you usually, if there's any video or audio into it, it'll say unrendered. Don't flip out about that. It's absolutely fine. Just gotta render it with Command R. Now, when you center it, that'll allow it to move and stuff. So, every single time you make even the smallest movement, my claymation people out there, so you'll probably like this way. You move it a little bit and you press the um, right um, little key on a MacBook. I'm not sure how you do it on a mouse. I might probably put an animation in it or whatever. Just make it move around a little bit. See, it's pretty nice and easy, nice and simple. Like move around, you know, just make it move around some. Pretty simple. That's how I think it is. So, once you got that, say you want it to grow bigger or you want it to rotate. So, you're going to click scale if you want it to get bigger. Now, you, there's two ways you can do this. You can either click this and drag it up to get bigger, or you can go to the scale bar and make it bigger. I personally like the scale bar. So move it a little bit, press the same key, move it a little, press the same key, move it a little, press the same key, move it a little, press the same key, press the same key. You know, it's easy. Say you want it to shrink, grow back, shrink, get small, you know. I can get tiny, make it move up slowly. Now, if you've been focusing on the length of the video it hasn't even reached four seconds yet so you're thinking wow that's a lot of animation for it it's a lot of hard work to get stuff past even 10 seconds it's it's challenging so now I like this way better for the rotation there's different ways this way you can rotate it 
than this way. I like this way better just for my own convenience. I like clicking stuff. <laughs> so that's easy right there. And you move it. I think I'm going to stop it from now click center again just anyway whatever you want really it's all your imagination is your boundaries that's what I'm saying make it go back down that's fine now I'm gonna make it get incredibly big really fast once it gets big gonna click center make it move up slowly now if your screen look to my left that happens to you don't freak out you can always go back to motion whenever you're done it's not interfering with your video or whatever so once it goes all the way up bam that's nice and easy and you can auto save it if you want sometimes it'll crash it happened to me on one of my videos so now say you're done so split it at about eight seconds with a little um, credit card I click this and delete it that's pretty self-explanatory now that looks fine and dandy but where's the music so I'll show you how to get the music and all too go to import files now if there's anything people would like uh, what would be a song I've got um, Just like Paradise Cold Play, basically, that's easy. Now, this is only an 8 second video, so count in your head. 1 Mississippi, 2 Mississippi, 3 Mississippi, 4 Mississippi, 5 Mississippi, and so on. Bam. Oh, wait, okay, keep that there. Now scroll up, click this again. Scroll up to where there's that blank, gray. Put it down. Easy. And I guess I count it over a little bit. Doesn't matter. You can always just do this. Now, bam. Their little advertisement's gone. Now, you find the audio and you split that too. Now, like I said before, rendering it can be from five seconds to five hours. Just depends on what all you've done. This one that was literally lightning fast. But here's what here's what I made. Looks pretty neat. So, now that that's done, you want to go to Export, click QuickTime Movie, not Live Type or whatever. Live Type will include in a later tutorial if I make another. Click here, name it, um, Circle Growing. Easy. Now, once that little thing says that, it says it's working. Once that's all done, you go to iMovie. And you go to File, Import, Movies, then it should be today, let's see here, whoop, it's not here, so, go to Desktop, it's not there, man, okay, Circle Growing, Circle PNG, da -da -da -da. Hmm. I'll just search for it. Circle. Growing. Hold on. Let me look at this. I'm just going to export it again. Hmm. Something happened. C I R C O E growing now you got to go to desktop enter wait till this little thing's all done I think I actually put it in the wrong folder or something hide this let's see if it showed up on the desktop or not yep it showed up good now import movies it should be on the desktop desktop 
circle going, it's right there. Wait till it gets all copied in. Scroll down. Now if you guys want, if you have a YouTube introduction or something, here's what I like about the program. It allows you to just do a lot of stuff. It's a very, very nice, well-rounded program. Put troll on this end. Scroll all the way down to the bottom. Use the 8.1 seconds. Once it's in there, this is this part of the tour is mainly for the people who plan on uploading this to YouTube. Export movie and type in um circle growing once again. Now desktop, that's good. Now what you want it to be a medium, medium or larger, because that'll help people be able to watch it on everything. You can watch it on iPod, iPhone, iPad, Apple TV, and a computer. That's what you'd want right there. Once it's been entered, you wait. It might take a little bit, but once it's been all uploaded, you're basically done. Just go to YouTube, go to upload, upload all the video. You know you know the drill, you, you YouTubers. If you want to make a YouTube account, don't let anyone hold you back. Just make it, have fun with it, make it yours. And remember, nobody can tell you not to do something if it's not going to hurt your health. Remember that. <clears throat> so once it's all been exported, you want to minimize it. Minimize all that stuff in Photoshop. And look for the M4V one. And then the um, MOV one you don't want. You can throw that away. And then here's the finished product, guys. Oh, when she was just a girl, she expe Oh, the music's over. <laughs> So I hope you guys found this tutorial helpful, and remember, nobody can tell you not to do something unless it endangers your health. Don't forget to like this, subscribe, and continue watching my channel for more great videos. See you guys later.